Well, hello. <laughs> hello, welcome Hi. to the channel. <laughs> yeah, we're very excited. Um, I don't know if you can see the little dogs there, they look very chilled out. Um, but we're actually very excited because this is our first night where we're going to actually sleep in Merlin. Yeah, we're camping out on the driveway. On the drive, which seems to be a very popular thing at the moment. It's catching on, isn't it? It's, it's all people can do, isn't do it? Is sleep on their drive. So yes, we're really looking forward to it. Um, so we're all geared up with our cup of tea. Can and we go uh, down? We've, um, I think we've downloaded a couple of films to watch on the iPad, so we'll probably do that. And I think where's Luna headed? Off to the bed. Yeah, yes. she's looking for the bed. She's looking for the bed, definitely. And um, I just wanted to show you something as well, didn't we? That some, yeah. some dear friends actually had made for us. I hope you can see this all right. But they've had a, a plaque made for Merlin. And so we're going to find a space on our wall in Merlin to put his name. And that's going to go up. And um, yeah, we think it's absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys. Thank you, Ray, Nicola. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's lovely. We love it. Thank you. So it's our first gift, isn't it, for Merlin? Yeah, it is. First gift for Merlin. So we'll put it down there. <laughs> thinking um, what we're going to do we want to, to achieve three things really don't we before we're actually allowed out out and about um, this is the first isn't it to actually sleep in Merlin um, then we want to sit and have a nice meal in Merlin we haven't done yeah. that yet have we so we're going to do that and then we want to try and cook something because I haven't actually ventured to sort of explore the cooker and how that all works yet so uh, we have yes. been doing a few DIY projects as well um various bits and pieces that that, that i've done mm. um none of them very exciting on their own and i'll uh, try and catch up at some point just explain what they all are mm. but yes yeah, just to make our lives a little bit easier isn't it yes i mean there's been so many brilliant ideas on the facebook page as yeah, well. they have, yeah it's really hard to know sometimes which way to go with these things because there seem to be so many different solutions yeah, sometimes many solutions for the same problem. <laughs> yeah, and they all seem equally good, don't yeah, they? Yeah. But I think the thing I found most exciting, um, an improvement that I want to make, um, is that one of the ladies on the Facebook page has made some beautiful curtains oh, yeah, for their yeah. CV. I absolutely love it. Ellie's already ordered curtains. some material. So, yep, I've ordered some fabric. It'll take me forever to make them, but um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it will make Merlin a lot more cosy, won't it? He's quite cosy, though, isn't he? Mm, but you know what I mean? It'll be nice to have yeah. some softness there. Yeah, he's actually a lot cosier than I thought he'd be, to be honest. Do you think so? Yeah, The yeah. light's really nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really nice nice lighting. Mm. Turn one of those off, see what it looks like. It goes even, darker. Even cosier. Yeah, it <laughs> and goes darker. darker. <laughs> goes darker. <laughs> mm. Oh, Maya looks quite happy over there asleep. Where's Luna gone? She's uh, on the bed now. Is she? Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's in her happy place, yeah. definitely. Well, I'm going to drink my tea before it goes yep. cold. I'm sure we'll uh, show you a little bit about the bed later. But um, for now, catch you later. Mm. Bye. Right, we are now going to bed. Uh, little blue Myers down there. Don't know if you can see her. Very dark down there. <laughs> <laughs> you may not be able to see her. And Ellie's in bed. Hello, hello. All looks very cosy, doesn't it? <laughs> Got Luna. Luna, you nick my bit of bed. Yeah. Oh, look, she's hiding. And I've mm -hmm. got some very appropriate reading for ah. Merlin. Can't see that. It says the way of the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I could improve my wizarding skills. <laughs> Very cosy. So we're getting into bed now and we'll see you in the morning. Night. Well, 
Good morning everyone. We've spent our first night in Merlin and um, we certainly didn't get cold as we had these little guys to help keep us warm. Morning Maya. <laughs> Morning Luna, are you having a wash? Oh, <laughs> Maya's just washing my face for me. Thank you, darling. You're going to say good morning? Are you going to say good morning? No, no, the paws are more important than being famous, clearly. Mm. So, what do we reckon? Very comfortable. <laughs> Had to turn the heating off in the night, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, it got we? a bit warm. Yeah. We were getting so hot. But yes, it was very comfortable. We enjoyed sleeping in Merlin. So, an experience, 10 out of 10. Well, I've left Graham looking after Merlin. I thought, well, you know, it might be nice to bring him a coffee or something. And, uh, wow, look what I found when I, <laughs> when I came out. What has he done? So, you know we got this yes, beautiful. You know we got this beautiful van about a week or two back. <laughs> we haven't even used it yet. It's literally only been used in reverse. And that just look. That's the wrong way in, isn't it? I meant to come from there. <laughs> look what's happened. Um, yeah, basically the van's in pieces at the moment. There's Graham. There's well. It's just mayhem, really. Organised mayhem, but mayhem. So the innards are out. Yes, I should really explain that the reason for this is because we're uh, doing um, new batteries. We're putting in... I've forgotten the word. <laughs> My mind's gone blank. Looking at all of this is the battery. That's the cab battery. You can probably work that out. All the seats, are, the bottoms of the seats are out. Let's have a little looky, a little looky here. And um, I should have let you know that Graham has had so many sleepless nights trying to work all this out without actually having to damage the van to get the cables for these batteries. And these are the batteries, the beasts, which are here. If you can see them, two of them. So um, for those of you who haven't tampered with your vans, you, you'll probably realise there's a box there normally with your battery in it. And obviously Graham's got, Graham's got to build the box, but he's just literally, by taking the box apart, he's managed to fit the two batteries. They're all nice and secure. They're together. held down by yep. this, this big tie. They're lithium batteries, which we're hoping will help us to go off grid. So yes, our beautiful Merlin is in a bit of a sorry state at the moment, actually. <laughs> it's, um, I must admit, I thought I'd be at the point of uh, now, um, what shelves do we need in the cupboards? And um, will my cutlery fit in the drawer? And, um, you know, how, how will our clothes be organised? That's what I thought. But as I say, this is what I found. So all credit to Graham. He's doing a fantastic job. He's worked it all out with the help of John and Mandy and lots of help on the, the <laughs> Facebook page and a little bit of Louise and um, Emily and <laughs> a few Googles. And uh, yes, we're getting there. Um, I think uh, <clears throat> I'll have to show you when it's all done. It won't be done for a few days because, uh, as with everything, we're waiting for bits and pieces to arrive. I've got my string through though, that's the main thing. Oh, you did it! Oh, well yeah. done, fantastic. Did you oh, use that thing, yeah. that, that puller thing? Um, yeah, what, what we're trying to do is, um, any of you who want to take up the vinyl, please don't try this at home because it's really well stuck down. And what we didn't want to do was to um, sort of root the cables along here on the outside which would have been an easier choice for Graham bless him he could have sort of very easily wired in because it's a b2b that you're having to put in isn't it Graham? Yeah, yeah. so you need to have um an extra cable basically and that would have meant trying to put some conduit along here to uh to, to route it through but we didn't really want we don't want to be able to see the cables we want to keep it nice and safe and to um obviously 
put it all under the floor, but the floor's got wood under it as well, obviously, to support it. So uh, it's all quite tricky, but we found a little gap. And what Graham's doing at the moment is he's trying to work out how to get the cable when it arrives underneath, uh, along here, you can probably see, along here, underneath, there's a gap. And he's going to route it under here and um, around somehow around the back of my seat, I think. And then through there into the battery box. Okay, into the battery box, which obviously is is over here. So I hope that makes sense to you. I can't say it makes total sense to me, um, but at least we now have a solution. It's just a matter of getting it done. Here's a good tip for you. I've got to run some cables from here right the way up to the uh, to the battery box at the back of the van and obviously the cables are floppy so I can't just thread them through. So I'm going to try this which is to extend my tape measure all the way along there. That's how to get some cables through a tricky, a tricky bit. And then, when you've uh, when you've got your tape measure through, tie some string round it. And what we do now. We pull it back and it will pull the string with it and, the, and with the string I can then pull the cables through. He said hopefully. Right time to pull the cables through. Um, little tip, cut a groove in the in the cable and tie the string into the groove should stop it pulling off he said hopefully Trying to pull the cable through under there, through to there now. There you go. Just got to get the black cable through now. And here we are with the black cable. Time we walked down here I had a bit of a surprise didn't I was there was me thinking of taking Graham a coffee and uh, went in and we saw that, that Merlin was had all his innards out all over the floor as Graham was doing all the electrics so um, I think now we ought to have a look and see how he's got on hello hello he looks very relaxed sitting there looking up maps. I'm actually trying to find a somewhere where we can go next week. Oh, that's exciting. 
Have you got any ideas? Yeah, I've got one idea. There's a place in the Bracken Beacons yeah. that we can go to, yeah. Oh, it sounds good. <clears throat> sounds really What's good. What's happened? The um, First Minister has um, relaxed the lockdown rules so we can now travel. So, uh, as the 1st of April, uh, next week is the first time we can use Merlin. We're, we're looking for somewhere to go, just for one night. So it's a bit of a shakedown, really. And that's what we're trying to do. So, I think Merlin's looking fantastic. In fact, you'd never know that Graham had really been here doing all the things he's done to him, which is how it, which is how it should be. No, no, you, you know, it um, looks really good. So, to be honest, we had hoped that in this vlog we'd be able to sort of show you not only having a, a night on the drive but also doing some cooking and actually enjoying a nice meal out here together but because of the past week where Graham's been sorting out all our batteries and everything we haven't done that yet but um, we will do that in a, a, fu a future vlog. Yeah, yeah. So that didn't really turn out as we expected, did we, that vlog? Because no. to be honest, we thought we'd do different things to what, what actually did we did do. Yeah, but when you start ripping out batteries, you really have to carry on and finish it. Mm. And it was really important to get those things done because if you don't do them at the very beginning, I think the temptation yeah. is just to put up with it the way it is yeah. and, and not make the improvements that you, you but, really want but to make. hopefully if we can get that booked in, We'll be away, and no doubt we'll do a bit of vlogging from uh, from the wild. Oh, that'll be exciting to actually take Merlin out somewhere yeah, into the yeah. wild, won't it? I've only yeah. used him in reverse gear so far, getting him onto the drive. So it'll be nice to go forwards. <laughs> I hope it works in forwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. well. Anyway, until we see you next time, bye. Bye bye. <laughs>